Welcome, today we're going to show you vFoglet 6 running on an iPad. First of all, we're going to show you how you can use it uh, to get an overview of your environment. As you see in this welcome screen, you get an overview of your virtual em environment. You can see all your virtual centers, data centers, clusters, ESX host, resource pool, data stores and virtual machines. And in the bottom of the screen, you have a quick view that shows the top consumers and in the bottom of the screen, if you put this in a, in a uh, what do you say? Portrait. Portrait mode, you will also be able to see something called facts, and that's commonly asked questions with answers. So you can, for example, find what virtual machines have the highest CPU ready values, or what ESX host is running out of capacity. So I'm going to go into the ESX host dashboard. Just click there on the ESX host. Then it will take you to the ESX host dashboard sh showing all ESX hosts across all virtual centers. In this environment, we have 11 ESX hosts, and we can see that three of them having some problems. Um, and in the middle of the screen, we see all the resources that's in place. So I'm going to one of the ESX hosts with an alarm to see what the problem is and it takes me to something called VM Explorer that shows more information about this host. On this screen, you will see an overview of how much resources is in place. Uh, I saw from the alarm that it was storage related. So, just going to the storage tab here. And I can see on the physical drive that it has high device, device latency, and that means too many virtual machines on a data store. I'm clicking on one data store that has a problem. It will pop up a pop up window showing disk latency and also total latency for this physical drive. As you can see, you have many different tabs in vFoglet, so you can drill down into different subsystems to find out more information regarding CPU, for example. This, this tab shows all VMs on this ESX host, both CPU utilization and CPU ready values. Uh, you see historic values and uh, you can sh change those values to anything you like. And in the bottom of the screen, you also have um, the information, uh, the, the mean values or the average values over time. Let's go back to the welcome screen. Trying to do some free handing here. As you can see on the the iPads and iPhones, they have a Jiro built in, so we'll actually understand how you're holding the iPad here. It will automatically redraw the, the, the screen according to that. In the bottom of the screen here, you can see the facts I mentioned earlier, which is very good questions you can ask and also get the answers right, right away. So for example, if I want to see what of my ESX host has highest CPU values, sorry, CPU ready values. Just click on the question and then it will load and you will see the answer to the right.